a group of people on stage, some of them are playing music, and they gather together to play games. There are two guys who stand out from the group of eight people because they don't play instruments. They tell most of the story because between them it's a play about death or life. While they are playing games, they play music and through these games we just touch some of the issues that are implicit or belong to the idea of games. And, and then we try to touch a big range of what these games are, what they imply, what the consequences are, that allows us to listen to the music, music that is some of it very well known, some less, but puts us in front of the music in another relationship. Of course, as a musician, we know how important it is to give gestures to musical ideas, phrases. But to work with dancers, and especially with a dancer like Juan, who is so extremely strong on stage as a person with all his expression, is extremely inspiring. Everything happens together, very, very much together in the same way as Midori and the musicians come with the music. Yes, that's written, that's rehearsed. I come with something that is just in my head. There is nothing they can hide be be behind. Yes, you see them very skillful, you see them very virtuous of their, of, their, of their art, but they are put on the edge. And to see someone so skilled, so prepared, out of context and fearful and vulnerable. I think that creates a link, hopefully creates a link between the public and what's happening on stage that goes just beyond uh, admiration, but that the questions that we had to ask ourselves to get together what was going to be the show tonight, that these same questions are valid and, and uh, yeah, to the people that see, see the show. What people are going to see is not a compilation of the ideas I had. People are going to see them. It will have value or not because it's us doing it in the way we do it and in the way it comes or doesn't come to the public.